Hey, how's it going? It's Matt Haynes, and uh, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Allen & Heath CQ series of digital mixers for live streaming and recording to digital audio workstations, you know, your computer. Now, this is a question that comes up over and over from viewers. Uh, it is a pretty straightforward process, but the CQ series is, I mean, it's a pretty complicated device, so I figured I'd help you out. I'm using the CQ-12T, which is the smallest of what I think is three models in the in the CQ lineup. And by the way, I've got a review coming out on this really, really soon. In fact, uh, it's, it's probably out already by the time you're watching this. So check it out. I'm going to show you both how to get audio from the mixer to your digital audio workstation, your DAW, your DAW, and also how to get audio back into the mixer. All right, first step, plug it in, turn it on, but also plug the USB cable from the, the mixer into your computer. Now, if you're using a Mac, you won't need a driver. It'll just magically work. And if you're using Windows, I'm sorry. And also you need to download their ASIO driver from Alan Heath's website and uh, install it and do all that stuff. And by the way, I'm using Logic to demonstrate this, but the, the process or the idea is the same for just about every DAW. In fact, you can even use this for things like OBS, although you won't necessarily have multi-track and be sending uh, tracks back and forth and things like that. But even with OBS, you can mix all of your audio on the mixer and then just send it as a stereo feed into OBS and you're good to go. All right, let's talk about recording first, how to get audio from the mixer to your computer. Computer. Now, uh, first thing you want to do is you want to hit the config button for configure and uh, up top you've got inputs, outputs, and then you've got uh, a range of goofy symbols. Uh, that's the digital audio tab. And uh, you know, you've got uh, USB and SD card and Bluetooth. So tap that. And then uh, right below that, you've got a choice of USB slash SD or Bluetooth. So of course tap USB slash SD. Now you need to select a couple of things. First off, you need to select your source point. What the source point does is tells the mixer, hey, where am I actually actually going to grab the audio? Is it going to be before the effects or after the effects? Because if it's after the effects, then those effects are, are baked in when it goes to the computer. So you've got post preamp, you've got post uh, high pass filter, post gate, post insert return, post EQ, post compressor, post uh, AMM, which is auto... Uh, auto microphone something. I've forgotten what it is. If you're looking for a purely dry signal, then just leave it on the default, which is post preamp. Now you also need to uh, select your sample rate, have it match the computer. Um, you've got 48K or 96K. Then the stream mode is where you select stereo or multi-track. And if you select stereo, then it's just the, uh, the stereo outputs getting routed to your computer but um, you're probably more interested in multi-track uh, because that's, you know, that way you can record your different inputs individually. In your digital audio workstation, go up to the audio preferences, wherever they're located, and choose the CQ as the input. And if you haven't already, you need to create some tracks on your uh, workstation so that you've got a track for each one of the inputs that you want to record. And then you just go to the input assignments and you find the channels you need, the ones you're sending over from the mixer, and, uh, then go record some audio. All right, playback. Now, if you are used to using just a, a simple USB interface, then playback is not something you even think of. You just, you know, you just put on your headphones or on your speakers and, and just when you play your computer, it, 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 it works. But this is a mixer and you've got to think in terms of, okay, when, when the computer is sending the mixer audio, that's another set of inputs. And that's why it can be a little bit confusing at first. How do I set up my mixer so that I can hear what I just recorded? So that's what I'm gonna tell you now. All right, so hit that config button again and uh, the digital audio tab and uh, USB uh, icons there. And now you don't need to worry about the source point because uh, that's only for uh, sending audio out of the mixer. Do make sure your sample rate is matched up with your computer. And again, you're selecting stereo or multi-track. So assuming that you just want to monitor the stereo output of your digital audio workstation, here's what you're gonna do. In config, uh, in stream mode, select stereo. Then tap the big fader uh, button in the middle and uh, you'll see four tabs up top. One says input one through five, input uh, six through 10, and then, uh, what does it say? Uh, stereo input slash, eff slash effects. So tap that one. 
and uh, you'll see SD in, which is uh, stereo in, and USB. So tap the USB one, and uh, you're going to need to raise the fader on that because otherwise you won't hear anything. So I would raise that up to uh, zero dB. Now, your digital audio workstation will default to sending uh, the output on channels one and two. So this is where you will hear it. And so you've got the audio going from your computer into the mixer on this USB channel and then getting mixed with everything for your uh, your mains uh, to your speakers and also to your headphones. Now, if you're in a live recording situation with uh, band members or you're playing back uh, multi-track uh, tracks from your digital audio workstation um, in a live event, you want to mix them in with uh, the live performance, then you probably want to access individual channels on your DAW and um, have them on, on separate channels in your mixer. So the way you do that is, first of all, I would uh, mute or bring down the volume on that USB channel because that's going to be the stereo output, and in which case you're going to be getting, you know, you're getting double the, double the audio, basically. So mute that, which I just did. And so you have to decide which inputs you're going to sacrifice for the audio playback. You know, if you, if you have a band and you've got... Uh, you know, bass, drums, guitar, and keyboard coming in on uh, uh, channels one through four. Well, the playback from the uh, computer has to have four channels as well, and they can't be the same ones because, you know, you, they've got to be separate. So maybe five, six, seven, and eight or something like that. So click the config button again. So you're looking at the config page, but this time click the inputs tab and you will see a set of XLR uh, diagrams there. And so let's say we want to bring in audio specifically from our track on, on, our, on our workstation to uh, channel five. I'm going to tap the channel five XLR there. And um, down the bottom, you have, uh, in the bottom left, you have input source, and it defaults to analog, but choose the, the digital goofy logos there. And uh, now you uh, are able to get it from the digital audio workstation. However, you have to choose the channel um, to output on your workstation, because otherwise it's just going to mix into the stereo mix by default. So you've got to actually um, click on the output and change that. Now on Logic, you click on stereo out or mono out, and you're going to go and pick the bus that you want instead. And in this case, it would be bus number five, which will match up with um, uh, channel number five on the mixer. One nice feature on the CQ series is the multi-select feature. So you don't have to arrange all of these uh, channels individually. What you can do is tap the multi-select button, which is on the right-hand side, and then tap the uh, inputs that you want there. And then when you tap on the digital input, they all change at once. So you don't saves you some trouble. Now, if the CQ series of mixers is just too complicated for you, or it's, it's just overwhelming and you really are hankering for, you know, like actual knobs to turn, I reviewed the Allen & Heath uh, ZI-8 mixer a while back, and uh, it is an excellent mixer too. And guess what? You can go check it out right there. <laughs> 